There's me? There's you? I'm glitching now. Why am I glitching? Oh. I don't know. My Okay, my camera... Have you tried turning yourself off and back on again? <laughs> if I turn myself on on the stream, I, I'm going to get banned. That's a very different kind of stream. Yeah, it's a different kind of stream. What is probably more lucrative if we're being honest? Computer behavior. It it keeps twitching. Why is it doing this? Nervous. I was I was gonna like troll everybody next week because there's a makeup tutorial for how to do makeup to make your face looks all look all pixelated. <laughs> so I was gonna do that next week and Cute. fuck with everybody, but I thought that might be too cruel given what you've gone through recently. <laughs> I thought that might just be the final push over the edge. You're like, why can't I fucking fix it? Speaking of next week, we're going to start off our bit this week and let everybody know next week is Hadabin! Yay! And we have, as we have been wont to do for many a year now, the uh, RDA Hookerween Special. Yes. Where Tara and I look at the absolute best of the absolute worst of sexy costumes. If you have a sexy costume out there, and I'm talking about costumes you can buy at a store, not just some weird shit someone put on Etsy. Yeah. You know. Like I saw a sexy predator at Comic-Con, but that was self-made. Yeah. If there's a, a store-bought sexy costume you see that's just not right. If it's something that shouldn't be sexy. Yes. Or it's something that could be sexy but isn't working. Yeah, it's one of those things is you look at the costume and you think, why would someone want to fuck that? Yeah. Some of our classics were Sexy Nemo from Finding yes. Nemo. Someone. Sexy Sexy poop emoji. Sexy poop emoji. Someone wants to fuck the poop emoji. Why? 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 And of course, no. Yandy.com is a, is a wonderland for all of this. That's kind of their oeuvre. They've really brought it to an art level at this point. If you know of one or several, do me a favor and send those to us at request at radio.air.com. Put hookerween in the subject line so I know what to look for. We will compile those, and next week we will have that for the Hanabeen show. But this week, of course, we have our usual ugh. cavalcade of awfulness. That's a wonderful cavalcade word. of calamity. It's a wonderful word, cavalcade. Montage of mayhem. Cavalcade. Who came up with cavalcade? I like that word. It is a good word. Parade of prickishness. <laughs> Parade of prick. That's that's the best you could do with the alliteration there, huh? I had montage of mayhem. That well, that's an old one. Avocado calamity. Prick. <laughs> the parade of pricks. Macy's Day got weird. Um. <laughs> Where is the fucking intro? Where are you, intro? Uh, have to dirge of douchebags? Dirge of douchebags. Sounds like a Marvel crossover. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of think it sounds more in DC, because they let Zack Snyder direct the dirge of douchebags. Wait, they already did. They called it Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Don't at me. Okay, what what is going I got on? a friend who loves that movie. And, like, he's a good dude, but he will defend that movie to death. And I'm like, dude, come on, it's the worst movie. Why is that? The you can't even worst? mention it. No, you can't even. It's like a it's like a, a hot button thing. Like, he just flies into a rage. Deluge of dumb, that's good. Tsunami of stupid. Okay, I've I have completely lost the where is the intro? This is weird. Tidal wave of temerity. I'm just gonna keep doing this until you find the intro. I'm trying. Bonanza of bullshit. That's a good one. 
let's see. Hoot nanny of holy shit. <laughs> that one's not that good. I, where the fuck? How? What is going? Is it not in the same place every week? Yeah, it is. Like, do you move, do you hide it from yourself? No. To make like an adventure. Here it is. What the? What the? What the? What the? What? Wait. <sighs> Potpourri of poop. I wasn't searching in, in subfolders. This is all going to get edited. Fuck it. All my good alliteration? All their good alliteration? Uh, all right, well. Monsoon Ooh. of morons. I did a rod of idiots. I did a rod of... People Ooh. are digging that deep on That was a good one from Mike. That's a good one. Well done, Mike. Well. That's why you get producer credit. <laughs> well, now we've dealt with all that. Intro! Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And... This is undoubtedly going to be sent to me, so I want to nip this in the bud. This this does not count as a sexy costume. This just counts as... Oh my god, what did you do? Is is this costume. You, you may have heard about this. What is probably one of the least appropriate things to dress a child as for Halloween? Not a school play, not a history project, but Halloween. Hitler? Close! <laughs> For a completely different reason, but it's Hitler adjacent, shall we say. <laughs> Hitler adjacent. Isn't that Goebbels? <laughs> <laughs> that might be our title, if you don't go with one of the alliterations. Halloween retailer oh, pulls oh, yeah. Anne Frank costume after backlash. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, this got past a focus group. A children's Halloween costume representing Holocaust victim Anne Frank has been pulled from online retailers after receiving widespread condemnation from Jewish groups and others. The World War II Anne Frank girls costume featured a blue button-up dress a green beret and a brown shoulder bag, quote, reminiscent of the kind of clothing that might be worn by a young girl during World War II, the product. Complete with a little style. tag. And here, to make this even worse, is the picture they used of this little girl. That Look at this little girl. She's all sassy. Sassy like, and Frank. I'm hiding in an attic. Being sassy. Having adventures. Writing my diary about oppression. Ah. Uh, like, I get the nerd kid costume. My mom sent me out in 1984 trick or treating as Geraldine Ferraro. <laughs> that never gets old. I was that kid. My mom, I went out, we, we, I went out trick-or-treating as Geraldine Ferraro because she was going to be the first woman vice president. That obviously didn't happen, but I was that nerd oh. kid. I get it. I get it. I get the urge to raise your feminist daughters and make them smart and let them be nerds, and that's cool. I had that mom. Maybe not little dead Jewish girls, though. I, I just... it. I, why? Maybe stick to less horribly bleak role models for Halloween and, shenanigans. And you're right. Not that Anne Frank shouldn't be a child role model because she was very brave. Yeah, but she's not. You know, you don't go to somebody's house and like, oh, what are you? I'm a Frankenstein. What are you? I'm a mummy. What are you? I was killed in the Holocaust. <laughs> right? <laughs> Can I have some candy? <laughs> He's of just course, bowl like <laughs> he's just emptying the fucking bowl, man. 
Oh! And think of the optics of that. Like, a little girl dressed as Anne Frank begging for food. Oh, God! <laughs> and you're this went through focus. <laughs> that, that someone at the office had to approve this. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go there. It does sort of beg the question of when the question of trick or treat is asked, what's the trick? Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, the little girl in the Anne Frank costume, is she even allowed to go up to the houses with Trump signs on the lawn? Is that oh, safe man. for her? No, I think maybe it's not. Anyone who has ever worked in an office <laughs> understands. No one in the office gets to do things without someone else looking at it first. Even your boss. The chat now wants a mashup Anne Frankenstein costume because he said that. <sighs> Little green Anne Frank with some bolts in her neck. <laughs> Y'all are sick. Some of these people have kids, too, is the scary part. <laughs> but yeah, this had to, things like this have to go through many levels yeah. of approval. Like, I used to be a graphic designer at a large company. And, like, to move a comma took a whole day. Because 14 people had to be cool with moving that comma. So what happened was in enough people at a company had to go, yep, this is cool. Yeah, it's fine. You don't want to put this one on the resume. <laughs> no. It's not even Halloween yet. We have even more costume fun. And who's where's the scoreboard? Who's keeping count? This is another one of the shit that fucking happened again with a nice little Halloween twist. Secret Service nabs Pikachu dress man <laughs> at White House. Oh my god. <laughs> you know shit is fucked up in America when Pokemon are going after the president. A man dressed as the Pokemon character Pikachu attempted to infiltrate the White House Tuesday morning before being caught by Secret, Secure, Secure, Secret Service officers manning the perimeter. Curtis Combs, 36, of Somerset, Kentucky, jumped a concrete barrier on the outer perimeter of the south grounds of the White House complex and was quickly arrested. According to the police report, Combs told officers he was unarmed before climbing the fence and ignoring signs that marked the area as restricted. He ignored multiple commands to stop climbing. Because none of them yelled, I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody had a master ball. That's the problem. Right. Nobody had nobody had a master ball. Um, amateurs. And here's this is what makes this one just here's the Combs told Secret Service agents he wanted to be famous and hoped to accomplish that by jumping the White House fence in a Pikachu output and posting it on YouTube. He I told mean, investigators he could not complete a video recording because the officers Quote, quick response. Okay. That, is, that will make you famous. Yeah. And you know what else it'll make you? Dead! Yeah. Or at least incarcerated. Mother, you are lucky you were not full of fucking holes. There's really better ways to get famous. Like, S even if you don't have a great talent, even if you're like, I can't sing for shit. Secret Service used 9mm. It's very effective! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Get down to the, the oh. word padding section. Pikachu, a yellow, chubby rodent. Is Pikachu a rodent? I don't know. Is that what he is? I don't know. I thought he was just a thing. <laughs> 
Pikachu, a yellow chubby rodent, is one of the most prominent characters in the Pokemon franchise. This is not the first time the Secret Service has dealt with Pika suspects. <laughs> in September 2014, a man wearing a yellow Pikachu hat and clinging to a yellow Pikachu doll jumped the fence. You know, if Donald Trump was a really horrible Pokemon, the world would make a lot more sense. <laughs> like, are there evil Pokemon? Are there bad Pokemon? No, apparently. There are remarkably fucked up Pokemon. There's a Pokemon who's a ghost who was, like, horribly killed. There's a Pokemon who who wears the skull of its dead mother. And is it in mourning? This, this is a children's game. Yes, it is! Like, my nephew tried to teach me how to play this card game. I, yeah, is this the nephew who has the super uptight parents who can't watch any of the cartoons and shit? Yes. And yeah, there, there's 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 a Pokemon who wears his his dead mother's skull. That's in mourning. Nice, Mike says. I just checked. Pikachu is a rodent. Thank you, Mike, for your intrepid <laughs> journalism. Pikachu is an electric capybara. Um. <laughs> He, he wears his, his mother's skull. Yes. Yes. I'm not kidding. I'm the, not. The chat. It's dark, dude. Yes, it is. Pokemon is not right. I, I guess if you think about it, think about the cartoons we watched. I watched like, do you remember the villain from the Care Bears? It was like this big, horrible black thing that wanted to spread despair all over the world. Yeah, but I, I, I watched, like, Transformers. Do you remember the purple pie man from Strawberry Shortcake? That fucker was a molester and a half. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, watched, I watched Transformers with Megatron and Starscream. They, they were the first, the first gay robot couple. I mean, the Smurfs were actually a little satanic cult. Uh, they kind of were, yeah. So... Yeah. You know, I and I watched, you know, Cobra Commander who who was just so campy. Oh, he was all the camp. And Mumra on Thundercats. I used to watch a lot of She-Ra, but I can't remember the villains. She-Ra had Hordak. Who was also right. ridiculous. Right, 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 right. Oh, well, we have even more stuff. And more stuff involving... Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a Pokemon that wipes your brain if you look into its eyes. There's a fucking Pokemon for every goddamn thing. Oh. There's a Pokemon that's just a giant dildo. Speaking of giant dildos... Hey. I don't know how you did this, but you did it. That's what I do. Uh, first we get back past the CAPTCHA, thank you, website. I have to pick all the vehicles. Like a little game to get my story. Oh, wow. Yeah, hel hello. I have a gander at this headline. From the Department of Is Our Children Learning? Students who walked into a Florida grade school classroom. Grade school? Wow were greeted by a shocking scene, an X-rated party reportedly featuring dildos, penis candles, and lollipop vaginas. It's a Katy Perry video. Parents at the Mater Lakes Academy in Halea were furious after a dance teacher threw a surprise party at school that included phallic party favors. After school celebration was supposedly for a former student, but hosted guests as young as 11 years old. In the videos we see they were preparing for the surprise party, the boy walked in, they surprised him with a hat that had a penis attached to the top, they were to pull it with a string to pull so it could get erected. Erect. Yeah, I... I... Quote... Who's the fucking editor here? Quote, there was... that. Well, that was a quote, so... Oh, okay. So then it should have just had the little sick after. Yeah. There there was a cake that had a lollipop shaped as a vagina. 
I mean, at least they're teaching dudes to go down young. That's important, and a lot of dudes don't learn that. That's good practice. Maybe not at 11. Maybe not at 11, no. <laughs> Maybe not. What was, the, what was the plan here? Who's... Like, why would you think this was okay? How long have you... How did you get through all of the education classes, get your teaching certification, show up to school and think, you know what? Today's dildo day. <laughs> you know what? You guys, you guys have really worked hard. We're going to have dildo day. Have a vagina pop. You know, it, Dan was, Dan, Dan caught, taught college courses for a while. Mm -hmm. This is college level. Yeah. I'm pretty confident that even you, sick and depraved as you are, teaching at college level would not have had a dildo party. No, but another psych professor who taught human sexuality did indeed have a dildo party every semester. Wow. <laughs> you didn't go to the school with the with the fuck saw, did you? No. Did we do that story? I think about the professor that got fired for he was teaching college level human sexuality and he used to have porn stars come in and do displays and he had like a what's the kind of saw called that's like a reciprocating, a reciprocating saw. saw but instead of the blade they put a dildo on it did we cover that it was a couple it was years ago no we did we did not we <laughs> <laughs> well a college professor lost his job for for that for demoing that product for his for his lecture Next, we have. Uh, <laughs> we're just moving on. We're just moving on. <laughs> I, I, we're leaving the fuck saw. We're leaving the fuck saw behind. So everyone um, always says that to me. Nobody ever wants to talk about the fuck saw, and that's disappointing. So we're moving to Oklahoma, and they they teach you to expect a lot of things when you join the police force. They, they probably, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say they do not teach you to expect this. Thong-clad driver was covered in Vaseline. Okay. An Oklahoma motorist covered in Vaseline. Why that South Park, pic why that South Park picture? I don't know, because, because they're very basic. Because that's funny, I guess. That's not necessary. It's not. Oklahoma motorist was covered in Vaseline, wearing only a thong bikini when a patrolman pulled over his vehicle for speeding, according to a court filing, which notes that a porno mag was atop the passenger seat. I just want to note that the, the, the perp in question is the dude. He kind of is. He looked like a cleaned up Nick Nolte. No, that's the dude. That's that is the dude. That is kind of the dude. So the. The Big Lebowski sequel is really taking off, apparently. <laughs> after initiating a vehicle stop last Sunday afternoon in Enid, a Garfield County Sheriff's Office deputy approached the car and, quote, spotted a nearly naked white male driver behind the wheel. The driver, John Wayne Kellerman, 54, had a bikini thong covering his genitals and had Vaseline covering his hands, upper body, and lower body parts. Cop also reported observing, quote, an open jar of Vaseline that was nearly empty and a pornographic magazine in the pasture seat. Kellerman, not surprisingly, was, quote, extremely nervous in a manner that his hands were shaking and his voice was trembling. To who uh, reported Officer Baby, to whom Kellerman handed a Vaseline Street ID card as a means of identification. No. No, 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 not taking that. Oh, no. it's better. At one point, Kellerman offered baby a rag to wipe the Vaseline off the ID card. The deputy, however, quote, refused Kellerman's semen rag and returned to the patrol car. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> officer. Here, you clean that off. This is not prop. That's okay. That's... I feel it important to note at this juncture that Vaseline is not safe lube. 
It's not. That's not safe to use as lube. It's petroleum based. Yeah. That should not go anywhere near your nooks and crannies. It's not safe. No. It's not safe to use for chap lips. I don't know why people do that. Like, honestly, I don't even know why we market it as a body product. But it's definitely not safe to use as lube. Please don't do that. <laughs> when you have your dildo party for children. Yes, I... Uh, why did this happen? Why? Like, this wasn't just... This wasn't you know a what, spur... I'm stuck in traffic and I'm feeling a little horny. Like, this was premeditated. This too. was an outing. Right. Like, this was his big day out. Because he was in a thong, greased up, driving mm. around. Like, this was his plans for the day. What did... did you can't... Peep, all right. Have you ever been at a stoplight and you look over and somebody's doing something in their car, completely oblivious to the fact that everyone else can see them doing it? No, but I'm pretty sure I've been that person because... I like to sing along with my radio really emphatically. Well, there's, I've seen people sing along the radio. I've seen people digging in their holes, in their head holes, all of the head holes. Pick a head hole. Someone has been digging around in it. I've seen people clipping their fingernails. I've seen people chewing their fingernails. There's always a lady doing her makeup. Doing her makeup. People act like nobody can see them in the car, even yeah. though... They're it's a, weird because you're in a little domicile, but you forget that like it's glass. A domicile covered in windows. Yeah. It's glass. They could fucking so the idea that he got all 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 slick and happy, and no one was going to see that shit. They going to see that shit. Okay? Also, your upholstery's ruined. Yeah. You have destroyed the... There is no blue book value on that car <laughs> anymore. There is a blue balls value on the car. <laughs> Not a blue book value. Uh, oh. God damn it. I just... I just uh, oh. Motherfucker. All right. Well, we're going to... Oh, God. You're gonna emphasize with the guy, or empathize with the guy in the next story. I think, even though this was incredibly stupid, this is probably some sort of the thing we'd have to to like tie you down to stop you from doing. Me, Tucson Fire Department burning spiders with blowtorch may have started fire. Am I wrong, <laughs> Tara? Who can blame them? Little fuckers. <laughs> See, I was right. I was right. My daddy rips their legs off one by one, and I'm proud of her for that. <laughs> Tucson... She knows those evil little beasts when she sees them. Tucson firefighters suspect a fire to mobile home on Tucson's north side began with a resident using a blowtorch to burn spider webs. Firefighters arrived at a mobile home in the 4,000 block of East Black Blackledge Drive. Uh, the cause of the fire is still under investigation, but firefighters suspect a propane torch was used to burn spiders and spider webs from under the trailer. Fire I'd have probably gone with like a hose. Fire was contained to one mobile home and no serious injuries were reported. Yeah, you, I'd have probably gone with, like, a garden hose. You lucky sure. fucker. Yeah. I... It, I don't use fire against spiders. I use Dan against spiders. <laughs> and have, Dan I, uses the fire against spiders. I have woken him from a sound sleep because there was a spider. At, like, two in the morning. I'm like, hey, 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 there's a spider. You need to take care of that shit. It's his job as a man. It's his duty. See, you wouldn't like it in any of the places I've lived because I'm completely cool with spiders. Fuck that. They eat the bugs that want to eat me. The spiders tried to eat me. Fuck them. Well, no. Didn't try to eat you, per se. It just bit you. 
I lost a chunk of my leg to that little fucker. Okay, yeah. All of his kind should perish. <laughs> I, I, I don't mind it. Well, I live in South Carolina and we have mosquitoes like a motherfucker, so I don't mind the spider. But, no, I mean, just... Any time. I, I, we've said this before. Does the Orkin man have a blowtorch? No. No one who kills insects for a living uses fire. Because fire does not... <laughs> Do you kill bugs for a living, Dan? Did you? Are you moonlighting as an exterminator now? What did you do? I was just raising my hand because it is... He doesn't even kill the spiders. He picks them up and brings them outside because he's a crusty old goth that used to have pet tarantulas and he thinks they're cute. He's full of crap. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Yeah, this, there's no reasoning with her here. It's, it's, a, blood, it's a blood feud. Damn. I have a fucking omerta against the entire <laughs> or see there's 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 just genius. no there's there's no reasoning here man it's it's she's she's true spiders can fuck right off but fight fight using fire on insects is a bad idea because fire does not stop it's not like yeah. the fire the fire doesn't know what you're trying to use it on right the fire's just like well it's time to party the fire does not discriminate. No. Fire is the ultimate fucking justice. It does not discriminate. It will just eat everything. Okay, well, it's like it's not only the fire's gonna come back later and say, well, I got the spiders and everything else. Yeah. It's not, it's not your friend. Fire's you can't not program your fire. Fire's not your buddy. It'll just I mean, you won't have a spider problem anymore. You won't because have you won't have a home anymore. We, I, 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 it's going to get to the point. I, I feel, with as many stories as we've seen, someone's going to have to put a fucking warning label on the propane torches. It's like the the warning on the copy toner: "Do not drink," because some do motherfucker not, done drank it. Do not use to kill insects. Yeah, there'd be do not, and also add you fucking moron in bold print. That should really be at the end of a lot of warnings. You fucking moron. Like there was an old Jeep commercial that showed the Jeep driving up the house in the snow in a snowstorm so they could fix their satellite dish. And it said, do not attempt to drive up the side of your house. You fucking moron. Who would do that? We've but seen cars on top of houses, Tara. Exactly. Do not iron clothes on body. You, you fucking, fucking moron. moron. This works for a lot. Yeah. If we just add you fucking moron to the end of every single warning, the warnings still work fairly well. Oh, shit. I forgot what the last story was. Oh, God. Okay. Uh <laughs> Worse than spiders in Halloween and Frank. Is it an Anne Frank all spider dildo party? <laughs> Click the link. Oh. Yes. That's not safe. Is it? One Florida woman picked a dark place to hide drug paraphernalia, according to deputies. Martin County Sheriff's Office deputy pull over Heather Zachman, 28, of Jensen Beach, who authorities say was driving on October 4th with a suspended license. As Zachman left her car, she gave the deputy a $1 bill with crack cocaine. So already we're off to a great start here. Yeah. Though the deputy noticed she was hiding something between her legs. She started squirming. Zachman eventually told police she had two hypodermic needles 
and a pipe used for smoking cocaine in her buttocks. Okay. I'm guessing since they said buttocks, it, they mean like between the cheeks and not inside of her. Oh, look at the TC palm link. It's, it's, no. Look at the what link? There's, there's a link, oh. more info. It just has a bunch of pop-ups, which is why I didn't use it, but. Woman gives cheeky response. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it does have a bunch of pop-ups. Stop I, it. That's why, it's, that's why I told you. It's got all the pop-ups. Yeah, in her butt cheeks. Just eat it. Just, uh, just, uh, uh, uh. Well, like, at least she didn't put it inside of her. She was like... That's cold. still... But that's still not a great idea. There's needles. Needles don't go anywhere near. Needles. Need needles are sharp. And so is glass when it breaks. Needles in the butt. Needles. I mean, sometimes you get a shot there. But yeah, other but than that... that, those are administered by a professional, you hope. I do not want any sharp thing near my anus. It is a. There is one of the most super painful things in the entire world is when your anal ring rips. That happens sometimes. You can rip it. Just sometimes from pooping too hard, you can cause that. Happened to Kevin Smith. I'm not. I'm not joking. He does an entire bit about it. He had explained. He had to go to the doctor and everything. You can rip that. And even just having a little, little, little split, like having a split lip, but on your anus. One of the most painful things you can fucking endure. So the idea I mean, it's of, almost impossible to keep uninfected. Yes. So the idea of having any sharp thing in that area, just I clench so hard. It's is see, and that would break the glass, and then you'd be in trouble. No, I don't. No, no. Yeah, everyone in the channel is right there with me. No, check. Kevin Smith in one of his uh he does Q and A Q &A videos a while back. He, he did like a, a talk evening. And he went on for about an hour, told the entire audience all about when he ripped his anus. That's nice. And he did it by uh -huh. he did it by pooping. Yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't know that before we met Kevin Smith at Comic-Con. <laughs> that out of my mind. When I was in the elevator with him. Like, I would have had trouble not just being like, so how's that anal ring? He would, he you know, face? you know Kevin Smith. Yeah, he, he probably wouldn't give a fuck. He'd probably he, be like, it's good. It's, it's, oh, it's a lot better. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better now. Thanks. I appreciate Things it. Going Thanks. great. Thanks for asking. Yeah, you know, he didn't give a shit. But just maybe that was his problem. I, I could have thought of so many. You're not getting out of being busted here. You already handed the fucking officer crap. Look, I'm just saying at least she didn't shove them inside of herself. <laughs> at least she just put them between the cheeks. Yeah, but it's at least she didn't shove needles inside of herself. Having the needle there. Just just having mm -hmm. it's it's sort of like it brings a whole new meaning to the term on pins and needles. Because you just, you, you're, it's sort of like the Sword of Damocles, but only you it's your anus. Glutes, you're okay. Like, I, I watched a burlesque dancer shake a martini with her ass cheeks once. Like, if you've got, like, she she put the stem of the glass there and poured the liquor over her shoulder. And, you know, if you've got the glutes, you can make that shit work. Uh, just it. I, I mean, mean, it's not a great idea. But even to, at this point, you have already handed the police officer crack cocaine. Yeah. You're like, going. You're, you're going to jail. You're already busted. Why did you have to compound this? But well, at least they're not going to find the needles and crack. You've already handed him the crack. The crack pipe is completely secondary at this point. Yeah. 
you you just you gotta you gotta plan you gotta think about how to cover up your crime that does not involve putting things sharp things near uranus i just gah. Well, that's the first thing we have we've learned this week no matter what the circumstance it's probably not going to be solved by you putting sharp things near your own anus Unless you're into that sort of thing. It's still not going to be solved. You're just going to make it worse. In which case, just, you know, do it safely and with consent. We've learned that fire is not an insecticide. I mean, it is. The problem is it's also an everything else aside. <laughs> yeah. It Fun. doesn't ask what you want it to kill. It just kills it. It's an omnicide. Thank you. That's the perfect word. It's an omnicide. Um, we've learned that uh, if if you're planning for a big day out with Vaseline, maybe stay home. <laughs> maybe do that at home and use a safer lube. Yeah, the the, the Vaseline is is not not safe. Not safe. We've learned that dildos. Not real good for 11-year-olds. No. I can't believe I had to say that out loud. Not not the theme party you want to throw not, your 11. Not. When I was 11, I had a She-Ra theme party for my birthday. That sounds cool. No dildos. No dildos. Well, unless you count Bo. Bo was always kind of a dildo. But... <laughs> Have you seen Bo? She Is he the guy with the weird hat? No, 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 he's the guy with the with he's the archer with that heart fucking doofy ass oh, kid, oh, heart. Oh yeah. Bo is a dildo. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had he was a dildo. Um we've learned that uh if you climb the White House fence in order to get famous, you will be lucky not to be famous for being the dead guy who climbed the White House fence. Yeah. Like, look, we live in a world where the Kardashians are a thing. Mark fucking Cuban is thinking about running for president. You don't need a talent anymore. No. You just need to find your fucking idiot niche. <laughs> this isn't it. And finally, we've learned that no matter how many people your company has, you can probably get enough people to agree to such a bad idea that you will be dumbfounded when it explodes in your face. I feel like it goes back to our run it by a 14-year-old rule. Do 14-year-olds read Anne Frank anymore? Do 14-year-olds even know who Anne Frank was anymore? I actually never did. Ooh. We never, I never read it. It's the Diary of Anne Frank. They didn't have me do that in school. Still, though, I mean, it's you're going to be the guy in the office going, wow, that that Anne Frank kids costume with the sassy model. What were we thinking? huh? Boy, I, I really thought that was going to be a hit this year, man. <laughs> I mean, Nazis are back. I thought that was going to be huge. 